Live from Television Hill, this is WJZ Breaking News. We have breaking news and the shooting outside Catonsville High School. Several people, several people now in custody as students head back to the classroom. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Koch. And we want to welcome all of you who are streaming this afternoon. Well, police have not provided new details about the people they arrested or how many are in custody. They did reveal more about where and how this violent incident began. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live at Catonsville High with the breaking details. Mike. Denise Vick, that information is thin about how many people or how many people and who was arrested here, but we did learn that this was a targeted incident and that it started as an argument that began off campus. We've also learned that a second person was shot in this in, in this incident. We're still waiting to get more details on that. Here's a report we filed earlier with reaction from the campus. Police are still searching for the suspect who opened fire in the parking lot of Catonsville High School Tuesday, injuring a 16-year-old student. Police had to evacuate the campus. The violence alarmed the chair of Baltimore County School Board. Any incident of gun violence or other violent acts in or around our schools is unacceptable and jeopardizes the sense of safety and security that school buildings provide. Less than 24 hours later, students returned with an extra police presence and counselors on hand. It was a little weird. It was kind of scary that they were here, you know? Um, it put it into perspective. It was real because we were surrounded by police when you came in. It's okay going to school, but I mean, definitely have to be more careful. School's not as safe as I thought. The shooting happened in a parking lot behind the school 45 minutes after classes had dismissed for the day. Baltimore County's police chief promised answers to a worried campus. We will make an arrest in this case. Uh, it's just going to take some time. But investigators have yet to release a motive or a description of the suspect. Initial reports were that suspect fled in a Volvo SUV. I think that the school is going to have to recover and that a lot of people are going to be shaken up by it because it's obviously such a huge thing that happened. It's really scary. And more on that second person we have learned who was shot in this incident yesterday. According to multiple sources, that person was shot in the head yesterday and taken to St. Agnes Hospital. Again, what police are saying is that there was at least one victim. They're also saying that there were multiple people arrested and that this stemmed from an off campus argument. Reporting live at Catonsville High, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you for that new information as Baltimore County Police continue to investigate that shooting at Catonsville High School. WJZ will bring you the latest information as soon as it becomes in, available to us in the newsroom. You can get updates anytime on WJZ.com and CBS News Baltimore.